and promoted as a high school teacher in icsc high school for 10th standard well while i was crossing several milestones i figured out there is something which is preventing me to reach higher during this lockdown i figured out lack of communication skills and networking skills was the barrier this spark ignited me to join the btmc family bangalore toastmaster club when i attended as a guest many times i received a warm welcome from all of you i felt it is a family and our president ayappa sir whose eyes gave a ray of hope to complete my speech today i would like to conclude my speech by saying these words education is the most powerful weapon to change the world ladies and gentlemen let us take an oath to initiate to initiate our young children with to inculcate the good quality the ethics morality and ethics and good culture to form a better india jai hind thank you anada over to you tm modi first masters can we give a standing ovation to our speaker suma shridhar please come to the front row and give a standing ovation thank you so much great great man you are a fighter and a teacher teacher is a good profession great profession you are doing you are building the future of india and one more thing you know i could not tell because she wanted to break the highs she did a very noble cause she cut the hair to donate to a cancer society so good work ma'am thank you and i would like to thank my mentor dtm teresa ma'am and all the organizers of btmc family who are supporting everyone to build our communication skills thank you one and all yeah. okay i i still see uh, people all in the last row uh, there is no balcony here so come out to the front rows please and speakers need their smiling faces please now before i move on to the next speaker i would like to sorry i would i would like to request his evaluator toastmaster abhirama to read out the speech guidelines please A very good evening to all my dear fellow toastmasters and guests the speaker is attempting project 3 in level 2 of motivational strategies pathway the purpose of this project is to clearly define how toastmasters envisions mentoring and to share some aspect of his previous experience as a protege a speech duration will be 5 to 7 minutes all the best to the speaker back to you tmo thank you toastmaster abhirama uh, this speaker is an inspiration of for i will attitude he quit a well paying job and started a company a renewable energy company when that sector was still in infant stages so it needs lot of guts and then what he does is he enjoys cycling and has done many trips from mysore to uti he loves farming son of the soil above all what i like him about him is he has the best humor timing in bangalore toastmasters club today he is going to tell us about mentor mentee relationship please welcome toastmaster somashekar ariyappa with his speech titled it's all about time and timing it's all about time and timing toastmaster somashekar ariyappa thank you am i am i audible yes sir you are audible and visible good evening fellow toastmasters and dear guests it was year 2003 month of october and we had our company's annual meeting 250 people sitting in the large audience the day starts at 9 am every business unit or the department head comes there and talks about the accomplishments of that uh, department it was 5 pm and the next department which was supposed to come there was a research and uh, development i was part of that department the one previously spoke 
was the finance department. So sorry, Nitin, don't mind, but there people were dozing off because you know the finance department always shows all these big numbers, and people were literally sleeping. The audience was silent, and when my turn came in. people didn't have any expectation because research and develop r&d department was not doing that great that's the reason my boss actually said so my you go and actually cover it up for us now i walked up to the stage and i told this quote of this famous scientist of nasa von braun i said research is something i do when i don't know what i do well some people were puzzled some people bursted with laughter the next 60 minutes my dear friends i took them through a journey of slides fun jokes quizzes and the entire audience came alive believe it or not at the end of 60 minutes they gave me a standing ovation the ceo comes and hugs me the hr guy tells that actually you should have been in sales department where were you hiding in r and d that day changed my life in my career people started viewing me in a different perspective of course i was a toastmaster then but then the demonstration i gave was not because of those project manual the speeches you take uh, you know we take through through the manual i owe it to my mentor mr robinson de souza now what is that actually he gave me there's a lot of tips you know making yourself the butt of the joke telling life experiences these are some of the things which is not written there but the mentors can really add value so two greatest thing i learned from you from him as an protege is about time and timing time all of us have limited time on this earth and we have 24 hours and i have seen Mr Robinson closely and my mentor he gets up at 5 am goes for a walk does the house uh, uh, you know he, he also does cooking and that time he was actually the law secretary a lot of calls coming in he used to manage all of them and at the end of the day you ask him how was the day he never complained that he was busy managing time is something i truly learned from my mentor and the timing aspect I was actually a boring speaker, and I transformed myself into an entertaining speaker because of the, the the timing aspect. Those are the tips my mentor used to give me. My dear friends, this is the reason Toastmasters gives a very special place for a mentor, right? It talks a lot about oh, you know, how and mentorship to be done, and what is his roles and responsibilities. right so one of the main thing is as a mentor you focus on the long term goal of the uh, the mentee or the protege you give him constructive feedback and you motivate and inspire him there is one misconception usually when you say you have a mentor what people do the protege he goes there and actually he thinks mentor is the one who will help me with the topics what topic i choose and uh, you know he will i can practice in front of a mentor he has to read my script well there is no harm in doing it but then that is actually really a short term thinking if you really ask me that's the reason toastmaster differentiates or actually it's got two categories mentors and the coach as you all know coach is actually you know much more they are widely used in sports wherein for example in cricket a coach tells how exactly to hold the bat and actually drive that shot or actually how exactly it has to be bowled good length so coach is defined as someone who would help you to hone the a specific skill or actually it's more of short term but as a mentor you really have a relation which is real long term that's what actually toastmaster tells and that's how it works right so so toastmasters has been a great place for people to really choose actually their uh, mentors and as a protege one other thing actually say we should not get into this so called imitation game now what is imitation games my definition that's because i have seen actually many toastmasters when they see a great speaker they just try to imitate him copy his style i think or i believe that each one of us are actually special right each one have unique abilities if you try to imitate somebody then you might 
the chances that that you may fail that is where actually a mentor comes and help you so when you have a mentor as a prote protege you need to try to get the best out of you the mentor will try to identify what is that actually you are great at and how is that actually you need to remove all the the not so good qualities which might be hindering you in your growth right fellow toastmasters today you might be wondering why the general evaluator is nitin and it was robinson disosa in the poster yesterday there's a reason mr robinson disosa brought in a person a help to his house and from 43 years she is uh, in their house taking care of the family her name is mary and we call her mary bai now she turned 85 recently and she Um, you know she expired yesterday evening my dear friends during the illness i have seen mr robinson de souza feeding this lady to her mouth right she is not a family member but that's the kind of humble nature mr robinson actually is and all of you know about that right so today nitin had to take her place because the cremation got done and right now why i am telling this because we learn values from mentors we go personal and that is where we connect find the right friend mentor and that will change your life it's only the mentor who can turn all your wishes you keep wishing i will do that i will do that but then he will ensure that you take action and you have changed in your life or to you mr toastmaster toastmasters can we have a big round of applause to sir somshikar so very well said sir we all need mentor guru so that you know we do, we are not like pichu we go beyond pichu and uh, before i move to the move on to the next speaker may i request his evaluator distinguished toastmaster prakash tamankar to read out the speech guidelines please thank you thank you toastmaster manikandan the speaker is attempting project 1 from level 3 of dynamic leadership path negotiate the best outcome the purpose of this project is for the speaker to learn different types of negotiation and the strategies that can be used when negotiating the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspect of a past or future negotiation in his or her life timer please note time is 5 to 7 minutes i wish the speaker all the best back to you to master manikandan thank you dtm prakash now this speaker wears many hats he is a blogger a singer works as account manager for british telecom a fantastic orator his take on the theme is if you wish that if you only wish that will end up only in your dreams but if you change to i will attitude it will become a reality very well said today he is going to tell us something about negotiation please welcome our toastmaster alok simma with his speech titled neither yours nor mine neither yours nor mine toastmaster alok simma we are all apprentices in a craft where nobody ever becomes the master said ernest hemingway about writing now with due apologies to mr ernest hemingway i'll attribute that particular quote of his to a different craft that we all need in our daily lives negotiation dear toast masters and guests i'm a sales professional in my day job and for me negotiating with my customer on say timelines or commercials is is an integral part of my professional life and i'm sure you'll agree with me when i say that negotiation is an inevitable part of all our professional lives and is in fact a necessary evil let me talk to you about a typical negotiation that i have with my customer in my day to day life it starts off with this beautiful concept called anchoring now let's say i need to sell a service to my customer at 100 rupees inr now i don't start negotiating at 100 i always anchor the customer at a higher rate i anchor the customer at say 120 rupees now my customer being a customer he is tough he is smart 
And always he'll come back to me with a counter offer of rupees 90. Now that is where he is going to anchor me. So rupees 90 here and rupees 120 here. That is where we start our first round of negotiation. Now here, typically I tell my customer that I'm being generous in the first round. So from 120, I reduce the price to 110 and that would be my counter offer to his 90. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the customer is tough. The customer is smart. He'll come back to me with a counter offer of 95. That is when we enter the second round of negotiation. Here, I'm not so generous. I call the customer, I tell him, sir, my, the value of my service is 120, but because it's you, you're my customer, a beloved customer, I've offered it at 110. Now, offering you something at 95 would definitely erode my value. I definitely can't do that. So we discuss a few times, there is a conversation that happens. And later on, obviously I tell the customer, okay, sir, I'll have to, just to show the customer that it's actually difficult to, uh, to do what he's asking me, asking me, I tell him, let me check internally if I can reduce the price further. So I go back and maybe take a day and come back to the customer with a counter offer of 105. So the customer is at 95, I'm at 105 at this point in time. Now, again, the customer is tough. He's going to say, I look 95 or nothing. I'm not going to offer you anything more than 95. Now, fear is a tricky situation for me. I can't go beyond, I mean, below 100 because that would, 100 is my walkaway price. If I sell it anything less than uh, 100, I would not be making anything out of the deal. But again, I don't want to lose the customer. So what do I do? I stay silent for a couple of days. I don't pick his calls. I don't call him proactively, nor, nor write to him uh, in a couple of days, in those couple of days. What I do after those couple of days is send him a small mail saying, dear customer, you have asked for 95. I'm at 105. Neither yours nor mine. Let's settle for 100. Now, if the customer is fair, if the customer is reasonable, he is going to come to that offer saying, okay, look, you've tried your best here. I'm going to accept the service at rupees 100 from you. And that is how we end the negotiation or close the deal. Now, a couple of disclaimers here. This is a simplistic example for a negotiation. In a, in a real world situation, you'll have a lot more factors, say uh, the time or the deadlines, the quality of service, and whether, you're, whether or not you're the incumbent vendor to the customer or not. So this was a simplistic example of a negotiation. And another point that I want to bring, you, bring to your notice is that in the concept of anchoring, though I have made the sale, you know, I'm going to end up feeling a little unhappy because my initial value is 120, but I'm closing it at 100. Though I've made the sale, I'm going to feel a little unhappy about that. But on the other hand, the customer, though initially he is not paying anything, but ends up paying rupees 100 to me, he's giving out money from his pocket. He'll still feel happy because he always feels he has reduced the value of the service from 120 to 100. So that is how in a typical negotiation, though you're making the sale, you're going to end up feeling a little unhappy after all, because you're, you seem to be reducing your value. Now this again, dear Toastmasters, is an example, in my opinion, for a win-lose negotiation, because the customer is winning here. He has reduced the value of the service from 120 to 100. But for me, I have lost the value from 120 to 100. For me, it's a loss. So that's where this becomes a win-lose negotiation. And I've also, like to let you know that this is a competitive negotiation because both the customer and I are competing for the best value of the service here. So this is an example from my professional life. Now, if I were to move from the realm of the professional to the realm of the personal, there are negotiations that happen in our personal lives too. And here I would want to go back to say my childhood where we used to go to dinner uh, with our relatives say. Now, relatives, it's always a tightrope walk. So for example, in the restaurant, you like sweet corn soup, your relatives like lemon coriander soup, but you don't like each other's choices. So what would you do? You choose the simple path. You choose a compromise. You settle for tomato soup. Now, it's not that you hate tomato soup, but it may not be your first choice either. And this kind of a compromise continues throughout dinner. Say for example, you like baby corn, Manchurian, your relative likes mushroom Manchurian, but you don't like each of those choices again. So you end up with something simple. You go for Gobi Manchurian, which again, both of you may not like entirely, but then seems like a neutral choice. Now, when I was, when I was in my childhood, I used to probably think that this was a fair choice. You know, you're not hurting each other. But then as I grew up, 
I started thinking, were we being fair at all? Because it's not that we go out for fine dining every other week. It's a once in a while occasion, once in a year occasion probably. And at that point, point in time, why would you want to compromise on what you're eating? Which, which prompts me to ask you the question, dear Toastmasters, were we compromising with our relatives at that point in time? Or were we compromising with ourselves? Which leads me to probably the most important negotiations that we have in our lives, the negotiations that we have with ourselves. I might sound abstract or a little philosophical even at this point in time, but think about this. There are always choices in front of us. Do I watch television today or do I practice the speech? Then I negotiate with myself. I say, I'm going to uh, watch the television today, but then practice the speech tomorrow. Or let's take a larger question here. Do I settle for a high paying job or do I, or do I do something that I love and earn a little less financially? And then again, the negotiation is that I settle for this high paying job for now so that I can earn enough to save enough. And then three years later, I do something that I love. Get those masters and guests. In conclusion, negotiations, compromises, collaborations, and accommodations are an integral part of our everyday life. But like John F. Kennedy once said, never negotiate out of fear, but never fear to negotiate. Back to the Toastmaster of the day, please. Can we give a big round of applause to Alok Simma? Alok, uh, I will try this negotiation skill with my wife when I take her to jewelry shop and see how it works. <laughs> okay, now I think uh, our vice president has sent uh, the link for voting. So please open that link and the code is, uh, the code is 1268, 1268. Please cast your vote. Let's take about 15 seconds. What is the code, please? One, two, six, eight. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Toastmasters, I hope you all enjoyed, not only enjoyed, but also had a great learning from our great speakers. Did you at least show thumbs up? Or come to the front row? It's still vacant, vacant seats are there. Great. Now, moving on to the next session, it's like electrifying. And it is led by one of the energetic Toastmasters, Guru Prasad. One important information, this Guru will get us enlightenment right here, right now, through his table topics. Over to you, Guru. Thank you very much, Mani, for wonderful introduction. Good evening, Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Am I loud and clear? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. You are. I hope we are too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening. So let us, let us, before getting into the table topic session, this is one of the most interesting and entertaining session of any Toastmasters meeting. Why table topics? You might think about it. See, Toastmasters is all about better speaking, better thinking, and better listening. As if you look at all the speeches or looking, watching to the money's speeches today, he was talking more about like talking spontaneously. That comes when you are able to think better. In spite like when you're talking to your spouse or talking to your boss, or you're talking to your uh, customer, you need to sp speak on the toes. That is where the to table topics comes into the picture. Table topics is all about thinking on your feet and talking on a particular topic for one to two minutes. So timer note that each speaker has to speak for two minutes. First minute, you can show the green card. One and a half minute, you can show the yellow card. Two minutes, you can show the red card. Let us, let us get into the session. 
before that, a small exercise we will be doing it. So I request all the Toastmasters, whether you are participating or not participating, the topics are very simple. Whichever the topic comes, just you keep thinking in your mind and let us see in the end of the meeting how it works. So let us, without wasting our time, let us get into the topics. First topic for the day, every moment is a fresh beginning. Toastmaster Josh Paul, I repeat, every moment is a fresh beginning. Toast, Toastmaster Josh Paul, Let us give this topic to Toastmaster Varsha. Uh, hi, Guru. Uh, people, am I audible and visible? Clear. Yes. And I just have a oh, Okay. Uh, thanks, Guru, for this uh, very, very interesting topic. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. I think this is mostly relatable to my current situation. For I, like, just like Alok Simha, uh, I'm also in sales profession and for us, every month is a new target every day is a new beginning for most of us will have daily targets and most of us will have weekly targets monthly targets no matter how big my numbers are or how great my numbers are i might be the topper on the last day of the month with all my 20 folks doing extremely well my boss giving me appreciation me getting incentives getting gadgets and getting a mention on uh, my official pages on various social media networks but on first day of the month i see myself in a zero uh, category it says varsha begin all over again now we see this in animals as the skin gets old we see that, you know, the snake sheds off its old skin and gets on to the new one. This holds good with plants. After uh, this holds good with plants, this holds good with insects. I think only with this mindset, we'll be able to think better. We'll be able to act better. For uh, Gautama Buddha once said that unless you live in the moment, you will not be able to proceed further. For you'll only be carrying and thinking about your past actions. With that, over to you. Thank you, Asha. Uh, well said. I'm also a salesperson. So you're taking me to my career. Thank you very much. Well spoken. <clears throat> let, us, let us go to the next topic. It is your imagination that can take you anywhere. Toastmaster Priyanka. I repeat the topic. It is your imagination that can take you anywhere. Hi, Guru. Thank you for the topic. Yes, uh, it is your imagination that can take you wherever you want to. Because it is the way we think is what we actually do. So how we think, how we imagine plays an important role in where we want to be in our future or in our present too. A simple example, for, uh, you, you know, yesterday, uh, I just got to know about uh, a very, uh, one of my very close uh, family member who had gone through a really, really very bad phase. But what I realized is no matter what is falling on you, it is how you actually deal with it. How is your thought process at that point of time and how you deal with it, that plays an important role to very seamlessly pass over how, no matter how your situation is. And that is something which I learned because when I had fallen through the same situation, I kind of hazard. I, I did not think, I just kind of got very messed up. And that is something which I really understood and learned that it's very important how you think, how you imagine your entire situation and how you want to take forward this entire situation. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Guru. And thank you very much, Priyanka. Well spoken about imagination. Contrary to me, I'm always in imagination every time. <laughs> let, let us go to the third topic. Tough times doesn't last, but tough people do. Toastmaster Rajiv Mishra. 
I repeat the topic, tough times doesn't lost. Sorry, don't lost, but tough people do. Hey, uh, thanks, Guru. I uh, hope I'm audible. Uh, Clear. Good, good evening, everyone. Uh, so as uh, Guru mentioned this topic, right? And I can simply relate with the current situation from last one year, whole world is facing that, right? The COVID is a tough time. One year has been gone, but we still don't know how much time it will take more to get recovered from this. But as you can see, all of us across the globe trying to fight with that, come up with the solution and make sure we will go out of that. We are not losing our hope. So what it shows, it shows that whether we are in any place in this world, we all human being is ready to handle any tough situation, okay? And as a human being, if we will make our will and which we are currently doing, we are helping each other, coming together, hope this tough time will go out. Thank you. Over to you, Guru. Thank, thank you, uh, Rajiv. I think well said. I think hope everybody should wish that we should come out of the situation very fast. Let us now move to the next topic. The giving of love is an education in itself. Toastmaster Shureka, madam. So, uh, th th thank you, Guru. Yeah. Thank so, you. I will repeat the topic one more time, madam. Okay. The, the giving of love is an education in itself. Yes. Thank you, Guru. So, uh, friends, let me tell you the story of this great saint in Maharashtra. He was known as Saint uh, Swami Eknath. And one day a villager, uh, a Bhakta, went up to him and said, Gurudev, can you tell me the answers to two of my questions? So he said, yes, son, ask me. Then he said, can you tell me how long I will live? And secondly, tell me, how is it that you manage to stay so peaceful when people are criticizing you, condemning you, blaming you all the time? How is it that you have that million dollar smile on your face? So the, the uh, guru said, first of all, son, the answer to your first question is that you are going to live for only eight days. The moment this man heard this, he ran off. And eight days he spent. And on the ninth day, when he got up, he realized that he was alive. He said, this is my Gurudev's uh, grace and I must go to him and thank him. When he came to Gurudev and thanked him for his life, he said, how did you spend these eight days? He said, uh, Gurudev, I worked in my farm very hard. I did not beat up my wife. I treated her with love and respect. I pressed my mother's feet because anyway, I was going to die after eight days and I needed to serve her. I visited my widowed sister, whom I had ignored for so many days. And I gave away that small piece of land which my brother was eating my head for. Anyway, I was going to die after eight days. Then Gurudev asked him, how are you feeling now, son? Oh, just great, Gurudev. I feel so happy, he said. Then, then the Gurudev said, that's how I live, son. I live as if I'm going to live only for eight days. So the criticism of the world doesn't matter. It's just that I have to operate from my own inner essence of love, compassion, and loving kindness. And that's when we live our ultimate destiny. Cause our exit is planned. We have come from the dust and we go to the dust. And love is the only thing we carry. And love should be the only thing that we give away. Over to Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, madam. Every time when you speak, you give a lot of love to us. And there is a <laughs> lot so of education in it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Let us go to the next topic of the day. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Toastmaster Amit. Uh, hello, Toastmasters and uh, guests. Good evening. Uh, sorry, I would not be able to uh, switch on my video uh, since I'm driving, but I hope we can manage. Uh, it's a tough uh, situation on the roads out here with a lot of rain and water logging here. 
the streets of bangalore yeah so uh, can you uh, repeat the topic uh, guru once I'm sure sure, sure. Yeah. the best yeah. the best preparation for tomorrow is doing yeah. your best today yes of course uh, guru uh, very rightly said so uh, the only uh, trouble in this sentence is uh, most of the uh, you know governing bodies uh, looks like do not uh, have their uh, uh, best done for previous uh, few days and this uh, is showing in two bits one is in the second wave that has hit the current situation uh, hit our country and our locality so bad that uh, it sort of shows that we weren't prepared well for the today that we are facing so not only blaming others in in our everyday life it is important that how hard we prepare or put our best foot forward today determines how best our future or tomorrow emerges so uh, i would urge that as responsible citizens of this country we should try to do something uh, other than our respective fields of excellence you know trying to do something for the society i mean uh, i would not be the one to sit and preach but you know desperate times calls for desperate measures so i think this is like a very rude uh, awakening for all of us to try and you know do some some bit from our end uh, for the betterment of the society either in terms of uh, you know putting in our best uh, efforts today so that we can have better future for our uh, future generations uh thank you and over to you guru thank you so much uh, yeah. th- thank thank you amit i think you rightly said that uh, uh, we have not done a best preparation for the uh, pa- to address the pandemic but still hopefully uh, we'll see like you know, let us come together to do something on that as you said thank you very much amit the next topic dreams and discipline are a powerful combination toastmaster kamlesh kumar i repeat dreams and discipline are a powerful combination uh, thank you guru for the wonderful topic and uh, i agree to this point uh, dreams and uh, discipline are the powerful combination and i feel that uh, what uh, it's uh, relate to uh, the powerful quote given by uh, dr abdul kalam and he said that dream is not what you see in the night uh, dream is something the which make you al- uh, awake and uh, what i feel about the discipline uh, discipline is a bridge between your uh, dreams and the reality and i think it is a powerful combination and i think uh, whatever we do i mean just like a in a toast master uh, initially we dream that one day we, be, we will become a, a great speaker even a confident speaker i think uh, if we are dis- disciplined in the our approach coming every week and participating in the every roles i think uh, whatever the dream that we have set in in the beginning of the joining of the club i think that is uh, what we it makes a, a great combination so whatever it is just like a, it is a, other than the toast master whatever in a professional life in a personal life everywhere the discipline and the dreams are great combination to achieve the success in the life thank you and over to you thank you kamlesh i rightly said uh, and we are seeing you from long time and your discipline has like you no know, and your dreams are on the same line <clears throat> and it's a powerful combination let us go to the next topic a cheerful heart does good like medicine postmaster dtm sumitra manmohan i repeat the topic a cheerful heart does good like medicine thank you guru for that very cheerful topic there was this delivery boy from our next door supermarket and i saw him one day come looking very glum so i asked him what happened why are you looking so sad and this boy said no amma i've i'm new to this place i don't know anyone and that is why i'm feeling so sad i said you just try smiling 
and then come and tell me how you feel. And after two, three days, he came to deliver another order. And this time I saw him coming, whistling away. And then I asked him, how are you feeling now? He said, Amma, your that suggestion of just smiling made me so happy. And then when I started smiling at others, everyone else started smiling at me. And now I feel I've got a big family here and I no longer miss my people. So that is why I feel that a cheerful heart will always keep you happy. Thank you, Guru, for that topic. Back to you. Thank you, Madam. Whenever we, we meet you, we feel the same. So we... <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let us go to the next topic. Mindset is everything. It is for the guest, Susmita. Susmita, are you there? Uh, Guru, she's not there, but you can move on. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll give it to the guest, Deepak. Deepak is there? Yes, he is there. Deepak? Okay, let us give this topic to Srijit. Srijit? Yes, Guru, what was that topic? <laughs> Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. Yes, uh, <laughs> very true, Guru. Um, thank you for this topic. Mindset. Uh, instead of saying, I wish, you should say, I will, which will take you to your dreams too reality um now at this moment uh, i could recollect the uh, story story of um, and that uh, sports person atapato he failed many times but he never gave up it was his determination which made him to play for his country and not only he played, he played as a captain. We should think how he would have gone through when he failed. Because in test cricket, first, when he was played first for his country, first two match, first two innings, he gone for a duck. Second match, zero and second innings, one. Third match, again, zero and one. And he dropped out. And again, he went to his local team and played again very well and came back, bounced back. So that is what I, I always feel very happy for him because of his mindset, he could reach to this his successful uh, career. Over to you. Thank you, Guru. Thank you, Srijit, and uh, well-spoken. And especially your inspiration like no uh, uh, do you, taking up a role of vp education for two consecutive terms is not a joke you you have that mindset and you feel it's everything for you let us let us go to the next topic make your life your master masterpiece dtm dr rajdeep manwani i repeat the topic again make your life your masterpiece Am I audible? Perfect, sir. Uh, when I got married, I had this very big dream to make my life a masterpiece, you know, and I have a very, very happy married life. I had decided before itself, you know, my expectation was that my wife will be as loving as Mother Teresa, as caring and good looking like Priyanka Chopra and everything was there. But the problem was even my wife expected a masterpiece of her life. She expected her husband to be as smart as Rithik Roshan, as caring as the most eligible man in the world. Right? And what happened is, as we tried to make our life a masterpiece, it started moving into pieces. The expectations were so much, isn't it? She expected a man like Rithik Roshan, she got married to a poor Rajdeep Manwani. I expected a Priyanka Chopra, I got married to a poor Gita Sita. Her name is Gita. And this continued for a long time till we tried to modify it. 
after one year of fighting adjusting one day when i got up in the morning and i looked at her and i said whatever she is she is perfect the way she is and i think so from that day my life became a masterpiece but the problem was she had got up a day before and she had seen me and see whatever this man is he is the way he is he is i will live with him the way i have and by cutting those expectations we both lived our life as a masterpiece if you just keep striving for perfection 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 life doesn't become a masterpiece it is by toning down your expectations because all of us make mistakes at some point of time or the other everybody even god makes mistakes sometimes you know that's why they also got married shiva keeps running behind parvati she comes down to earth even god has problems with marriage everybody has issues mavan attapattu had like sridhar said guru has in his sales varsha has but all of us can make a laugh my life a masterpiece by toning down our expectations and doing the best we can today and as we live up to our imperfect expectations and as we live up to our expectations that's how life becomes a masterpiece the greatest tragedy in life is if you strive only to life make life perfect it becomes rigid but if you adapt to life that's what makes life a masterpiece thank you thank you very much sir uh, you are you are a masterpiece for us uh, we love you very much thank you so much you. yeah L- let us go to the last topic of the session with the big power all glory comes from the daring to begin toastmaster dtm uh, teresa man i repeat the topic one more time all glory comes from daring to begin i think she is not there let us give this topic to toastmaster smita roshi guru please repeat the topic sure all glory comes from daring to begin uh thanks guru uh all glory comes from daring to start if mother teresa did not start if she was not moved by that one leprosy patient if gandhi ji was not moved by the incident that happened in the train the they dare to start and that's how this country with mahatma gandhi ji's dare this country won the freedom with mother teresa's uh, good kind heart came the missionaries of charity in our life when when we dare, when do we dare to do things why should we wait the things that move our heart listen to our heart and take action may it be the smallest of the things it will lead to glory or to your guru thank you very much smita i think well said uh, talking about mother teresa really is inspired speech now let us go l- luckily we have a time for another three speakers now let us go to the next topic toughness is in the mind not in the muscles toughness is in the mind not in the muscles toastmaster kartik nag Kartik Nag. Uh, 
toast master otherwise let us go to toast master shreyas shreyas are you there guru shreyas was in sa okay okay so let us give to the vivek vivek are you there hello vivek yes is there I hey, could you repeat the topic? Sure, 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 sure. Toughness is in the mind, not in the muscles. Ah, uh, thank you, Guru sir. Uh, I have to let everybody know that this is my first webinar that I'm coming to Toastmasters, and I really loved it. So let me just start. Toughness is in the mind, not in the muscles. I can agree with this a hundred percent. You know why? Because people go to the gym people have six packs they want to reduce their body fat and all that that's fine but in life you have to have the mindset of a tough person six packs yeah that's good but how can you get through life with 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 a six six pack you know what i'm saying you have to have a mindset of a tough tough person if you take an example of donald trump now people might love him or hate him but he is a tough tough businessman is a tough tough politician and he went against the odds and he won the presidency now people might hate him but he had in mind and he had to do what he wanted to do and that is an inspiration and you can take take a look at all the successful people in this planet they're all tough they're all uh, tough minded and not uh, they don't have a tough muscle all the billionaires show me one billionaire who has a six pack you know nobody has a six pack they all are tough people with that i conclude thank you so much guru sir over to you well spoken vivek for the first time i think we really we need to appreciate you and as you said that all the billionaires does not does not have tough muscles they don't have six packs let us go to the next topic next topic is just do it and the topic goes to toastmaster pavitra toastmaster pavitra are there yes i am there thank you very much for the topic uh, can you please repeat again i'm sorry sure just do it yeah so actually like you know i was thinking i'm not able to take any meeting in my uh, you know office i like i'm a working woman so i my like you know communication was a hardest thing for me to uh, you know take any minute so i was knowing the content i know like you know many of the things i know like i am doing better than other uh, people but the thing is i was not able to express my views in the meeting so uh, like you know it was a uh, uh, force for me to start up one of the day so when i just started it got gone in a flow and i was able to deliver the things what i wanted to it if at that if i had not started on that day i would have been in the same thinking that like you know i will not be able to take up any meeting so i am able to do only work but i'll not be able to present that thing so it, that is what i was thinking once uh, when, when i just started i thought like even i can do the uh, do the things better so just i need to equip myself so that's why i can say i joined i wanted to join the toast smart sister then i thought like, let me join so that i can also do am i audible yeah you're audible you want to come over to you that shall okay thank you thank you pavitra i think well, well spoken you are at the right place uh, sure i'm uh, you in the right hands definitely uh, you will you will achieve whatever you are going to achieve now let us go to the next topic let, <clears throat> turn the pain into power dr m mohan kumar dr m mohan kumar hello yes are you yeah okay. what is the I, topic I'll, sir i will be repeating the topic turn oh. the pain into power so power i did not understand the meaning of power 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 so turn the pain into power yes so like uh, 
we have to think uh, positively uh, whenever we have some uh, difficulties because please excuse me i am talking for the first time eh? if i make any mistakes uh, please guide me Hello. sure sir go, sure, sir, go ahead so like uh, this is a table topic uh, uh, i have to speak instantly i have to think over and tell uh, like uh, so that uh, turn the pain into power means for example see some patients if they have some uh, uh, difficulties or anything like that they have they sometimes remember god and uh, think of positive people uh, who are sports person or injured or who are handicapped and then they think that he is like that so why can't i take this as a positive thing and be like the him and uh, he, uh, they can uh, turn the pain into power thank you very much thank you thank you very much sir i think for attending for the first time we really uh, appreciate it thank yeah, you for, for your this one i want yeah, to join right. i'll join i'll join uh, you really appreciate and toastmasters i hope that you really enjoyed the session thank you very much and over to the toastmaster of the day mani toastmasters can we have a big round of applause to guru guru very well conducted and uh, simple topics to talk it was easy for everyone to attend thank you so much guru so now i think our vp must have sent uh, the link uh, srijit have you sent the link srijit i'm 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 sending now okay so the code remains same 1268 once you get the link uh, please cast your vote let's take about 15 seconds yes thanks rajit 1268 code Okay. Okay, it was masters. I hope you guys are enjoying. Now, <laughs> moving on, uh, we go to the final session, which is post-COVID in uh, comparison. But uh, we are nowhere near that. But uh, let's see whatever. Uh, the uh, evaluation team led by our toastmaster nitin has to say about this today's meeting sir nitin over to you yeah thank you toastmaster manikandan and uh, good evening again uh yes uh, you know uh, keeping to the high standards set by bangalore toastmasters club the meeting actually started right on time 6:30 and uh, all kudos to sajita downs uh, shreyas john seladurai started well talked about do's and don'ts uh, which was very important because during my last general evaluation session i had noticed that it was missed out my suggestion to selva also uh, is to include uh, online meeting discipline which is required of course i didn't see much of uh, messages coming on the screen but uh, last time we did have this issue uh, so do mention keep it standard items which you have to talk about uh, otherwise well done um, shreyas uh, keep the uh, the sajana speech going ladies and gentlemen give him a big round of applause please and uh, um, i mean there cannot be much uh, to talk about uh, ayappa because uh, he is uh, setting the standards every minute i meeting i see he is uh, raising the bar higher and higher uh, though this time he had a little bit of a technical glitch but uh, shreyas uh, managed it well welcomed him three times maybe in that uh, mainly he forgot to address him as a president in the two times when he welcomed uh, please ensure that uh, president's office is very important and when we address uh, uh president please mention him as the president uh, ayappa amongst uh, you know the committee members and also the members per se so toastmaster ayappa president ayappa spoke very well 
he always comes out with a different uh, story and best thing about uh, the president is he always talks about uh, his experience and connects it to the theme of the meeting uh, very uh, well done uh, president and uh, keep it going keep the team uh, spirit high uh, when we talked about uh, the theme uh, how much i covet that uh, the committee brings out a word of the day in sync with the theme of the day when i say covet i was thinking what is that i can link it because the covet means i wish and theme of the day says uh, do not say i wish start say i will so it's a very challenging uh, theme and the word of the day combination uh, and very very challenging to the toastmasters uh, so i thought let me covet that the committee does not come with a theme of the day which is contradicting with the word of the day uh, in a way uh, so but uh, it's very interesting i saw a couple of people uh, using uh, the word of the day um, and uh, then uh, toastmaster manikandan came and took over the stage of course he has been in touch with me till from yesterday night uh, trying to because he also had a uh, sudden change in the role staking i can understand but uh, very well managed the you know role uh, manikandan toastmaster and what did you do was in the end the show is what matters how you present the whole meeting is what matters and you did it with a very good finesse i mean you had a smiling uh, face the way you were welcoming people to come forward that was very unique you know it was very interesting in an online meeting i was wondering how can people come forward but when you said put on the video and come forward i understood what you're saying and it was very nice way uh, well done it it brings that togetherness of the toastmasters uh, uh, and the story of pichu you spoke was very interesting uh, and a lot of humor humor is important you brought it uh, well done um, toastmaster i could not hold myself normally otherwise we talk about the toastmaster in end of the evaluation but when i talked about i could not hold myself talking about you in the beginning itself uh well done i am very proud uh, to see you connecting this hope to see you more and more uh, on the stage uh thank you very much then uh, came um, the speakers three star speakers uh, we are very proud to have such a beautiful speakers uh having their unique style the first speaker was a toastmaster suma she was talking about her own uh, example and talk about her introduction to the club who was being evaluated by toastmaster uh, kirtana i request the toastmaster kirtana to come out with her evaluation report please good evening dear toastmasters and guests and toastmaster suma in particular firstly i'd like to congratulate you on breaking the ice the whole thing about an ice breaker speech is not just about courage and not just about finding the voice but to be able to tell the audience who you are as a person and i believe that you were able to clearly convey that congrats on that you had adequate preparation you spoke very clearly and audibly your content was appropriate to the title 43 glimpses of 43 milestone you took us through the glimpses of the start of your life and tell where you have reached very well your speech was very well structured with good opening body and conclusion you grabbed our attention by giving a very strong opening and your speech was ended very well as well you have a good voice and a beautiful smile that makes your delivery very well done and very good it adds on to the delivery i felt that these areas the following areas you can improve that is you can keep your shoulders free so that you can show your hand movement uh, i'm keeping my laptop close to me so that i won't be uh, so i am not able to show you the hand movement properly but uh, if you keep your shoulders free you can show your hand gestures freely and you can also improve your tonal quality and ex expressions appropriate to the situations whereas if there's a sad situation you can reduce your tone 
and make a sad expression. And if there's a happy situation, you can increase your voice, sound excited, and make a happy expression. So overall, it was an amazing speech, a job well done. I look forward to hearing a lot more from you and a lot more speeches to come by. Congrats again. Back Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Keetana. You covered it very well, uh, precisely. I have nothing more to add. Mm, uh, Toastmaster Suma, you did a very good job, uh, especially considering the fact that you are introducing yourself to uh, uh, club members and uh, it is your first speech uh, project. And, um, and with a smiling face, you did all you could do. You gave your best, all the best. And dear club members, give our, uh, another big round of applause. I'm not asking you to stand up. Wherever you're sitting, please do our big round of applause. Yes. And next came uh, our uh, one of our past president, a blockbuster speaker, Toastmaster Som Shaker, speaking about uh, level two motivational strategies, introduction to Toastmasters mentoring. He was being evaluated by Toastmaster Abiram. I request Abiram to give his opinion on uh, Toastmaster Som Shaker's speech. Thank you very much, uh, Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Right. Very good evening to all my dear fellow Toastmasters and Toastmaster Soma Shekhar in particular. I loved your speech. It was informative and inspiring at the same time. You started off with a story, the incident that occurred in your annual office meeting I was indeed very curious to know what happened in that meeting. Meeting, So you had the audience hooked on to your uh, speech right from the beginning. So I really liked the way you started off with the story. Now, the purpose of the project is to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. And, and you did that really well. You clearly brought out the difference between a mentor and a coach and thereby you explained what a mentor does, especially in a Toastmasters setup. Not only that, you also explained the key quality that a protege should have and you know, how a protege can be benefited immensely if he doesn't imitate others. So you had a message for all the proteges out there of not imitating others. Another purpose of the project was to share some aspect of your previous experience as a protege. Now, you did mention the key lessons that you learned, time and timing. What I found missing was one specific example on how the lesson of time affected your speech. You could have shared an incident or a conversation between you and your mentor that helped you go a long way. That speech of yours changed your life, but what conversation or what incident between you and your mentor really changed your perspective on speaking or what is that you learned? I, I missed that part of it. And I'd love to hear a punchline or a key message that you would like to uh, you would like the audience to drive home. Uh, of course, you brought about the aspect of um, learning the values from the mentor, which was indeed inspiring. But I would have loved uh, a punchline uh, as well in the end. Uh, having said that, I, I just love the vocal variety and uh, the energy in your voice. Uh, your hand gestures were free-flowing, uh, excellent use of the screen space, amazing aesthetics on this Zoom meeting. I truly enjoyed your speech, uh, Toastmaster Somashekar, and I wish you all the very best for your uh, future speeches. Thank you, and back to you, General Valiator. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Abiram. Thank you, Abiram. And uh, adding to what uh, Abiram mentioned, Toastmaster Soma, it's always a pleasure to hear and see you speak. Um, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see you are gestures, the voice modulation, what you bring bringing to all your speeches. Uh, and when you talk about your mentor, I mean, all of us, 
uh, especially when it comes to Thomas Robinson, it's very difficult to hold on to talk about his life. Uh, but it comes naturally for, for us. Uh, as uh, Abira mentioned, we need to bring the focus here to how the Toastmasters envisions the mentoring. Uh, like, you know, what all the mentoring um, in Toastmasters can do? Uh, what are the steps could be done? A simple thing like, you know, in an offline meeting, a mentor sits next to the speaker in the initial stages and encourages him. You know, these are the small, small things which probably you can uh, bring in uh, to focus more on the mentoring part than on the mentor himself. Uh, that would be my suggestion to all the speakers who are attempting these uh, speeches. Otherwise, well done, Toastmaster. Give him a big round of applause. Next was, uh, thank you very much. Next was our another champion speaker, Toastmaster Alok Sima, who was being evaluated by Toastmaster DTM, Prakash Ashokrav Thamankar. I request Prakash to please give his uh, opinion and report. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nitin. Uh, it is always a privilege to be evaluating a speech and not the speaker. Negotiation is so important and the way you started, Toastmaster Alok, you really impressed me with the quote and your adaptation of that quote. Toastmasters and guests, what is important in any given speech is the way it is presented or delivered and what it contains. And these are the two aspects that I would probably look at while we are looking at this speech. In terms of delivery, I really liked the way you had the gestures, your hand gestures, and also the way you had awareness of the audience. You are extremely comfortable about the topic because that's what you work day in and day out. And you had a personal interest in what you wanted to present that came out pretty well. And then you had examples from both your professional and your personal life to relate to how you do negotiations that came out very well. In terms of content, if I were to identify the areas that you did very well was the way you covered the professional and the personal aspects. If I were to suggest an area which would probably take this speech from the level it is to the next level would be to look at everything that we do in a positive way. Somewhere the way you started off with the title, neither yours nor mine gave me a negative impression. Something positive, thinking win-win would probably be a better way to look at negotiation than to look at it negatively. Even when you had set the target at 120, but you had 100 in mind as your anchor, I feel you have won when you have got 100 there. It's extremely important that we look positively at a negotiation and think win-win because that's when we really will benefit from any negotiation. That is something that I would have loved you to bring out in a more positive way. In terms of vocal variety, I felt you had a lot of opportunity to bring out areas of uh, areas with dialogues, especially when you had a customer and you were speaking to him. That would have brought in the differentiation in tone and would have helped us get over the monotone that you had at some parts in your speech. In terms of gestures, one small thought that I had, which would take it to the next level, would be to stand up and present because that's when we can see your hand gestures. In the way you were speaking, probably I could not see some of the gestures you were making. Make these minor modifications and I'm sure you will emerge the top and make sure that you covet every deal that you make. Back to you, our general evaluator, Toastmaster Nitin. Thank you, DTM Prakash and uh, Toastmaster Alok. Uh, I have seen you speaking on various forums, uh, various competitions. It's a sheer delight to see you uh, speaking, giving a project speech, and also in uh, debates. A very interesting uh, uh, 
personality you have and also a very interesting uh, delivery you have. Adding to what Prakash said, I have one small suggestion to me. Of course, it is there within your speech. When you talked about negotiation, it was interesting for me to note also that silence also is a better tool of negotiating. Like when a couple of days you were silent and then came out with a final offer to your customer and customer had no other choice to accept. Very interesting. Similar thing we need to have in our delivery of the speeches. Uh, many times I have noticed that the speech when you give, uh, there is hardly much of a pause. And uh, as you go higher up, your contents are so rich, it takes a little time for the listener to absorb. And my suggestion is give a little bit of pause between each point or sentences so that we can digest and absorb the content of what you are saying. Uh, if you can do that, I'm telling you, you will be on a world level, world class. I'm sure about it because you're already going towards a district level. I'm sure you will achieve a higher grade uh, uh, milestones. Uh, thank you, Alok, for that wonderful speech. And Toastmasters, uh, he deserves a big round of applause from all of us again. Coming to Guru on his table topic session, uh, you know, what can we talk about um, a wonderful personality like Guru? Guru did that. I was wondering how Guru will conduct. This is the first time I'm seeing him uh, doing a table topic session. But uh, the way he handled the whole situation, the way he transitioned from one topic to another and brought in humor, that's very important. He brought in so much humor, uh, I could not uh, control myself uh, smiling and laughing. It was sheer pleasure watching Guru uh, conduct this uh, whole table topic session. And best thing is you repeated the topic twice. You repeated, first you mentioned the topic, called the speaker name and again uh, mentioned it second time. That's very interesting. That's how it's done. Uh, very well done. And you covered at least, uh, let me see, 13 speakers and wide variety of speakers. And all of speakers did wonderfully well in fact, I was very pleasant to see TM uh, Amit, I think, who was speaking while driving. That is a passion one has to have. Uh, he spoke uh, despite all the, you know, negotiating all the uh, uh, traffic. But uh, one thing I should also tell the Toastmasters, uh, don't be on the phone while driving. You know, it's not legal. So uh, try to avoid doing that. That was a little bit of a concern. I was happy about the passion, but I was a little bit concerned. Um, and all of this, like TM Sureka, Rajiv Mishra, Priyanka, Varsha, Amit, Kamli, uh, Sumitra, of course, you know, she comes out with a, such a nice story instantly. Srijit, Rajdeep Manuman was amazing. I could not again stop myself laughing when he talked about masterpiece in life. Uh, and then Vivek, all of them spoke very well. Uh, kudos to... Toastmaster Guru for that wonderful session. Thank you very much, Guru. Give me a big round of applause, please. And uh, coming to, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coming to uh, my tag team, I request now my timer, Raghavendra, PM Raghavendra, to give his report, please. Uh, thank PM you, Raghavendra. General Evaluator. Yes, I'm there. Um, as the saying goes, time and tide wait for none, so was I. So I was making note of all the uh, time taken by each speaker. And uh, I'd also, I, another saying, which is on your toes. It was like on your toes for me to date. And it was true to the each letter. And I made note of each uh, speaker's uh, time taken. And uh, for coming to the prepared speech, um, uh, Toastmaster Suma took uh, 6 minutes, 23 seconds. Soma sir took 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Alok took 7 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, coming to the table topic, only two speakers um, exceeded the time limit. That is Sureka ma'am, 2 minutes, 9 seconds. And Rajdeep sir, 2 minutes, 29 seconds. Coming to the evaluation, um, all were within the time. Prakash sir took three minutes, 11 seconds. The rest were all within the time limit. Over to you, general evaluator. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, TM Raghavendra. Now I call upon uh, 
our counter TM Sujata Sanam to give her report, please. Thank you, Nitin, sir. Good evening, dear Toastmasters and dear guests. Good evening. Good evening. As an accountant, uh, I observed all the speeches and congratulations to all the participants uh, because you all have given me a very less work. Uh, not much uh, clutch words or uh, uh, I mean, uh, overused words or uh, filler sounds, etc. Uh, with regard to speakers, T. Suma had used uh, two short pauses and uh, three long pauses. Som Shekhar sir used uh, four times actually the word. Other than that, all were uh, doing very good. And Guru, I was searching for your favorite word like you know. You have used only once. I was keenly <laughs> observing for your speech. <laughs> of course, congratulations to you too. And uh, table topic speakers, Varsha used twice a. Uh, Priyanka used four times a. Uh, Amit used three times you know and four times a. Uh. Kamlesh five times used I think and five times used a. Uh. Srijit five times used a uh, and one long pause. Smita Roji used uh, five times long pauses. Pavitra five times you know this word she has used and four times a. Uh. Mohan Kumar uh, five times used like and uh, four times a. Uh. Other than that, everybody did a great job. Congratulations to one and all. Over to you, Mithin, sir. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Shudaito. Now I request uh, Grammarian Toastmaster Nagesh to give you a report, please. Good evening, Toastmasters, and uh, good evening to all the speakers and the guests. Good evening. What a, what a grammarly, what a meeting today it was. If you look at the speakers, many of them quoted uh, Ernest Hemingway, Buddha, John F. Kennedy, Abdul Kalam. I covet using many such quotes from famous personalities in my coming speeches in the club. Uh, there was a very good usage of uh, grammar uh, to, in today's meeting. Cup of poverty, lingering in the mind, instant gratification, uh, time and tide was recently used. Imitation game is something that will live in my mind for a very long time that was used in the meeting today. Uh, there were few, very, very few corrections that I thought I would uh, mention here. Uh, a, a speaker mentioned about a word in spite of, uh, it could have been despite. Uh, there was a usage of year has been gone, could have been an year has passed. Other than that, I think uh, everybody spoke very well. A lot of takeaway for me as a grammarian. Thank over to you, uh, General Evaluator. Thank you, TM Nagesh. Thank you very much. And now to TM Hana Victoria to conduct her session on listening skills. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Nitin. A very good evening to general evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. As always, it's always a pleasure to listen to each one of you. And being a good listener also makes you a good speaker. So let's start a rapid fire round. And I've got around eight, seven to eight questions. Let's see. The first question is, what are the two things that Toastmaster Som Shaker learned from his mentor, Toastmaster Richard D'Souza? Time and timing. Time and timing. Yes, very good, uh, Toastmaster Vidram. And whose quote is this? Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us uh, never fear to negotiate. John Hello. F. Kennedy. <laughs> John yes, F. John F. Kennedy is right. Who said that? I said. Okay. Alok said it. Alok said it. <laughs> okay. Then, um, which standard in school was a turning point for Suma? Ninth, eight to yes. nine. Yes, very good. Yes, yes, Rajiv. And um, which sports person did Srijit speak about? Atapattu. Atapattu. Yes, yes, Sureka, <laughs> ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> In Smitha's topic, she referred to two great people. Who were they? Mother Teresa. Yeah. Mahatma Gandhi and Mother Teresa. Yes, yes. 
And the last one is, what is the name of the magazine President Ayapa came across? Um, Competition uh, success. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, I think um, that's it. Which profession is Toastmaster Suma in? Teacher. Teacher. Teaching. Yes. Over to you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Nitin. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Hana. Uh, very well done. And um, th that's where I'm coming to the end of our uh, General Evaluation session. Uh, before I hand over to Toastmaster uh, Manikandri, I have one suggestion to all the upcoming Toastmasters, uh, Toastmasters of the day. When you talk about uh, Toastmasters, international, the number of clubs, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the fact that we are meeting online, as long as we meet online, please uh, ensure that you tell the members, because we have so many new members and also guests, that where otherwise we meet offline, which place, and what timing, so that people are aware that you know this is only a temporary phenomenon. Uh, hopefully, it will end. This pandemic will end soon, and we'll be getting back to our uh, regular meeting place. So, mention about it, uh, so that we are the guests, especially, are more aware of it. Otherwise, Toastmaster Manikanda, you did a superb job today, a, a blockbuster job, uh, very well done, and I congratulate you on that. It was very nice to see your smiling face uh, and uh, wonderful gestures and all that. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I thank for the committee. Uh, over to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Manikan Krishnamurti. Thank you, Toastmaster Nitin. Can we have a big round of applause to Toastmaster Nitin and evaluators and role takers, please? Okay. So we are coming to the end of this session. Uh, Mani, thoroughly... Mani, sorry. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, can you please share the evaluation, I mean, the link, no? Just uh, share, I mean, tell Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, uh, VPS send the uh, link. Uh, uh, to hot and the code is one two six eight. Uh, please take actually tense. actually two uh, two links are there. One yes, one is for evaluation, evaluation and another one is for role takers. Yes. Uh, please please open those links and uh, cast your vote. The code is same one two six eight. Let's take about fifteen seconds, twenty seconds. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, I thank you everyone for listening to me and uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's meeting. Uh, there was a great speakers and we had a great learning through this meeting. So now uh, I would like to hand over the virtual stage to our president, uh, uh, Mr. Ayapa, over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Manikantan. Let's give Toastmaster Manikantan a good round of applause. Let's also uh, give a good round of applause to all the role takers, general evaluators, speakers. It is a small change because we thought of having the contest next week. So because of the ongoing uh, prevailing condition, we are not going to have the uh, contest. Uh, but we'll have a keynote address by our uh, past international president, DTM Nagraj Rao. Uh, along with the prepared speeches. So we'll have the contest once uh, once we uh, join back in Ashirwad. So because the contest was something different, it is having the contest online will not serve the purpose. So we thought, let's have it once we meet online again, uh, sorry, offline again in the Ashirwad. Uh, yes, uh, that's about uh, the an announcement. And the best speaker, uh, Srijit is ready. Ayapa, give me one minute. In the meantime, just, uh, can we have you. some yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one okay. minute. Yeah. Yes. So in the meantime, any guests would like to share your experience? Can we have Ravi, please? Can we have Sajal? Yes. 
Sajal, you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, firstly, good evening, everyone, uh, to all the Toastmasters and the guests present, just like me. This is the first meeting uh, I've ever attended in a Toastmasters club. And uh, to my surprise, uh, it was every minute was so interesting for me to listen to. Uh, there was humor, there was uh, learning, there was beautiful speeches that I could hear to. And uh, my own, my interest just uh, escalated and uh, uh, I want to attend more meetings. Uh, so the experience was amazing. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Sajil. Uh, can we have... Uh... I have shared the results. Yeah, yeah. Can we have Sakshi, please? Sure, yeah. Good evening, everyone. So this is my third meeting and I'm really liking it, liking everyone's speeches. And uh, I, I'm someone like, I'm really hoping I could improve. I have already spoken to Hannah about it that I want to enroll. Yeah, so I'm like really looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Sakshi. Welcome. So uh, here are the results. We have... You shared the result, uh, Priyanka? Yes, I have Check. Your... Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, yeah. The best track team player goes to Toastmaster Hannah. Best role taker goes to Toastmaster Manigandan. Best evaluator goes to Distinguished Toastmaster Prakash Tamankar. Uh, best table topic speaker goes to Toastmaster Sureka. And best speaker goes to Toastmaster Somshaker. Let's unmute and give all the winners a good round of applause. Also, let us all congratulate, uh, congratulate Toastmaster Suma for attempting her first icebreaker speech. All the best, Suma. Thank you, sir. That's it from my end. Uh, wish you all a very good weekend. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night and bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank Bye. You. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat>